Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. Here you can see my own 2014 Volkswagen Passat TDI. And in this video I would like to show how you can refill diesel exhaust fluid which Volkswagen calls AdBlue. I have purchased this AdBlue from FCP Euro. And I purchased it basically for two different reasons. The number one, if you read the owner's manual, it's the only one we are supposed to use in this 2014 Passat TDI. But that's not the main reason. The main reason is that this bottle has that patented attachment to the vehicle where as you screw it on and then push on, it basically guarantees there will be no spills and there will be no crystals left. And I will show you that it's obvious previous people didn't have that and it's already there. So it needs to be cleaned, clean up on the aisle four. So basically it should be very simple. It's in the back, it's in the trunk. And they should go and get to it. And this was not cheap. I believe I paid 30 bucks. So by the volume, it will be very expensive. But I gladly pay that money because when I will put it in the vehicle, I will cut the opening right here. And I can basically screw it back and use it as a perfect non-spilling funnel, I can always fill it with a suitable approved additional AdBlue fluids, which I can purchase elsewhere for way cheaper. And this will stay with me for this vehicle. Now that tank for that AdBlue is located on this side, but it's not where you fill your diesel. It's actually located in the trunk. It's on the same side and it's right there. I brought the light so we can see something. This is the, these are the crystals. That's the remaining of somebody else filling it up and not using correct tools. You will see it even more around here. So here is the AdBlue instructions and here is the valve itself. I will just release it this way. Very simple. You can see again those crystals all over. So here we go. I will undo that top kit and they say just take it on. Catch the thread and screw it on. I believe that stopped. I will try to do my best not to be in your way. So I can see the level right here. Now they say just push on it. Can you hear it? Nicely. Perfectly flowing into the tank. This is the beauty. You can always stop. If I stop right now, the entire process stops and there will be no spills. We will not make this mess like if we try to use the normal funnel. I will go ahead and put all of it in. It's going pretty fast. It's not like you have to be standing here all day long. And for me, this is just preventative maintenance, let's say. I'm just playing with this, making video for you. And this is what I'm doing. I didn't have any warning light on the dashboard and instrument cluster that I am low and I have to add on. I am a clean freak, so I brought the towel, but I will just unscrew it. I bet you 
there will be zero spillage seriously guys there's not one droplet look at it the towel it's absolutely dry the towel is not needed nothing's dripping out of it it's completely empty I can cap it and then later I will cut it right around here and create this perfect funnel I said I'm clean freak so I will go right now and take a brush and clean inside so the cap is perfectly clean I will go ahead and wipe it off around here and all these additional spills and crystals which are all over here I will deal with it later uh, when I will be detailing this vehicle because that will take way more time than there is a purpose of this video so I can close it it has a nice click it stay in this position it kind of clicked I can put this back and I will be I'm filming we got interrupted but basically I was going to say we are finished here and this procedure is done now the tank in the vehicle it's a little bit less than five US gallons this bottle it's a half US gallons I want to make sure that this video helps everybody I'm assuming that who will look for this video on YouTube is the person who had the warning in the instrument cluster that you are low and you need to refill. So there are two extremely important items with this. Volkswagen clearly says in the owner's manual, the number one, if you had the warning which you requested to add this AdBlue, Volkswagen says, you have to add at least these three bottles it's a half us quart a gallon excuse me half us gallon so you have to add at least minimum one and half us gallon for the system to be able to recognize do you, you even added anything so that's one of the items which they say it's extremely important if you deal with it and you want to be successful number two and that is for me too right now when you add any fluid in it they say put the ignition on but don't start the engine wait at least 30 seconds before you will start it up again it's extremely important in this procedure and if you don't have the owner's manual and you don't look up the information on the page 283 where the whole section is you will miss these two important steps so I'm very happy I was able to play with it I had the time to film it and share this info on the internet as I said I paid 30 bucks by the volume that's extremely expensive but I will carefully cut with razor blade this plastic off and I will have perfect funnel filler for dedicated for this vehicle as you saw guys there was not tiniest droplet I touch it with the rag with my fingers this is very great invention this valve which is here on the bottom I love it always wear gloves don't touch it wear eye protection it doesn't spill in your eye accidentally that will be a problem it's still aggressive chemical so you don't want to have a problems with it that's all from me as usually I hope you will find it helpful if you do please give it thumb up so the video grows in the uh, Google search engine other than that I wish you good luck with this whole thing stay tuned be subscribed have way more coming your way soon thank you for watching and supporting this channel and have a great day my friend